this is Onyx. We were doing place patterning and he was offering me a sit really nicely. And then the wind rustled through the trees up above us in the palm tree and it startled him some. He can be a bit of a nervous guy. Started whining. So I really like this concept of teaching the dog that place is somewhere where you calm down. You get to just calm down on your own and you get to make these choices. Look at that big yawn. So lots of processing happening. And all you have to do is stay on the square. That's it. And that's all I'm going to ask of you. Once we get that, the dogs start to get into a groove and they start to sit and sit feels pretty good. And then down feels even better than sit. We work them through any anxiety, excitement, fear, whatever it is that they're feeling. Then they start to really feel like places that nice, nice spot. So we were doing this. He was doing his sit regularly, beautifully. Something happens and all of that, all that goes away. So I, so we just sit here. That's it. I'm going to wait till he makes a mistake and I can tell him no. Here we go. So my no is gentle guidance. And that's how dogs problem solve. And then he settles back into a sit and nice. oh, it feels good. And it really, that's, that's the brain work, guys. When the dogs are doing this easily, yeah. they start offering us things pretty easily. Then we'll start asking Stop. for them, demanding them, accountability if they don't give it to us. But when we feel like a dog's brain is nice. struggling for whatever reason, doing this method of place is really useful. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Place. Good. Good. Let's go. So this is what I mean by getting into a groove. So we probably did this for about five minutes and I didn't get a sit, I just let him stand. So it was just place, let's go, place, let's go. Pause before I say place. By doing that over and over and over again, I got that beautiful sit. But then when he was suddenly nervous, that's when I decided to just stop moving and let him settle. So it is a choice um, because we do, in the beginning we do do this over and over and over again, even though they're not sitting. Uh, we like to do in 10, 15 minute increments and then give them a break. And if they want to stand there for the whole break, they, they can stand there. That's not an issue. But we want to just drill that 10 to 15 minutes Place. active, you know, 10 to 15 no. inactive. Place. And then we start to layer on these resets. Good. So the dog gets into a groove Let's go. and they just, they're just following us. So what we do is we continue to walk normally. And then we Plus. do leash pressure and we step back at the same time Good. to guide them back on place. So before we correct them. So they start to learn that just because I continue moving, you still need to stay on place. So we start to create that boundary with guidance. It's not a correction yet. Good body language skills, basic listening skills, but not a lot of focus. Place. Place. Good. This direction is harder. He just really doesn't like all this noise and movement above his head. We're going to go in that direction again. Let's go. Place. Good. Good. sit again I got neighbor noise I'm just gonna sit again and just tell him I know if he gets pushy and see if he settles back into a sit